Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So once again, it's tea time. We're here on the comfy couch. And today we're gonna to be talking about a brand new Canon patent that just came out, I would say about Friday of last week. And the reason I think is important is if you guys remember about maybe three, four, five vlogs ago, I said that a camera will be coming out and I called it a 5DM right? It was going to be like a 5D style, larger mirrorless camera, full frame mirrorless camera to compete with Sony, right? And I said that it was going to be a hybrid, all right? Because I feel that Canon cannot just do more of the same anymore. They're going to have to innovate. If not, they're just going to be continuously just trampled by Sony when it comes to the mirrorless full frame space. So I said they need to come up with something to be able to use EF glass, as well as their new style mirrorless glass or EFM or whatever, right, without having to have an adapter. We know Nikon's gonna be doing the adapter. To me, it's more of the same. Following down that path, I said Canon is just going to have to do something to knock it out of the park. So I called it a hybrid, I called it a 5DM. So obviously that's probably not the case, but that's just what I called it. Well, this new patent gives a little bit of credence to what I was saying. So. It kind of looks like this. I'm gonna show you, probably I'm gonna pop it up on the screen because you're not gonna be able to see this too well, It'll probably be glary or whatnot. And what it is, it is a patent that will allow the mounting of old style lenses as well as new style lenses to a new camera, let's call it. So a lot of you guys are smarter than I am. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you this patent number, which is a Japanese patent. It's 2018 dash 084713. You guys can look it up. I'm gonna put a link in the comment area or I'm gonna put it into the description. Click on it, go read through it. I'm gonna read through it a little bit right now for you guys, but you look at it and tell me where I got it right, where I got it wrong, okay? So I took the Japanese patent, I took a little bit of it and converted it, thanks to Google, to English. Now, you know when this happens, it doesn't always do the best job, but I'm just gonna read through it a little bit as much as I can, it might sound a little bit funky, but just listen to it and then I'm gonna give you my ideas on it. So it says, in order to ensure compatibility with conventional lenses that cannot communicate at high speed in interchangeable lens type cameras that can communicate at high speed, if switching to high speed communication is made after judging the lens type using conventional communication at the time of attaching a lens or the like, it takes time. In addition, it is not possible to add electrical contacts for lens types determined in order to ensure mechanical compatibility with conventional lenses. For the solution here, which is basically your patent, a new communication compatible camera has a switch on which an intercept can be moved when a conventional lens is mounted on at least one of the mounting position bayonet claws. And the new communication correspondence lens is formed by cutting out the bayonet claw position corresponding to the switch. The lens type can be determined simultaneously with mounting. So. What this to me translates into, this new synchronous communication, right, between the camera and the camera lens is going to be able to be determined, let's say, by either a manual switch, let's call it, or a electronic switch based on where one of these claws lie. I don't know how this is going to all take place, but that's what it seems like that is going to be going on. So reading through this and speculating, once again, we're always trying to read the tea leaves here. Nothing that I'm saying here is written in stone. Take it all with a handful of salt, as we always say, because this is, of course, speculation. But by looking at this, it feels like they are creating this new mount, all right, that's going to be able to receive both old school and the new school lenses. And if that is the case, right, if that is the case, that might be that determining factor from current Canon users to stick with Canon when it comes to full frame mirrorless cameras. The idea of moving to Sony or sticking with Canon a lot of times will be determined based on glass. Am I going to have to adapt my lenses to this new camera? 
because we know whenever you adapt anything, there is a loss, there is degradation. It's just simply not the same. But if they can make the actual camera hardware to receive both lenses and do it properly without this interruption, let's call it, without this extra unit, this extra adapter that has to be placed onto the camera. They can do it better. They can do it internally. They can make it right. Let's just call it. Not that what Nikon isn't proposing with their adapter won't be right and might not work perfectly because they've already stated that it's going to be slower. It's not going to be just exact, just like if it was a, um, a new lens that's connected to it. So you are going to always have that degradation, that loss whenever you're adapting things. They're just not going to be perfect. They just simply aren't. You're going to either have speed issues when it comes to autofocus. Sometimes you might have autofocus that doesn't lock up just right. Um, you just have another piece to the puzzle that can go bad let's call it, right? So when you can simplify things and put all of this questioning, basically what this is, all of this questioning, is it new glass, is it old glass, and make that switch, the appropriate switch, internal to the camera. Um, it's just a cleaner way of doing things. So anyways, guys, that's simply it. I just wanted to put this out to you. I, like I said, some of you guys that are smarter than me, read through it, okay? Let me know what you think, what you think is going on here. Is this for the new full frame mirrorless camera that Canon is working on that I am speculating that it is my 5DM, like I call it? Um, what do you think? So guys, as always, if you enjoy my content, please throw me a big thumbs up. That would be so appreciated. Don't forget to slam that subscribe button so you can get all of my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon so when it is available, you will be notified of it. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. If there is, please pick it up and support me. That's it for today on The Comfy Couch. We'll see you most likely tomorrow. Happy shooting. Take care, guys.